scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There are times where you should not be embarrassed to be a child again and let Abba carry you. When the oceans roll and thunders roll, I will soar with you above. Father, you are king over the storms. Here's your part. That I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you. I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you. When the oceans and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the sky. Father, you are king over the storms. And I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are I will be still. I will be still. Oh, receive it as a prophecy to your life. I will be still and know you I will be still. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you. Just the voices. I will be still. I will be still and know you. I will be still. I will be still and know you. So you can look at your rent, eyeball to eyeball. You can look at your child in the ICU. And with the pain in your heart you can look at your health and the medical diagnosis that you have cancer and you are about to go and you can sing this song not to an audience you sing a song where you are the minister and you are the audience yourself there are times you need to be the prophet of your destiny ladies and gentlemen please hear me you need to summon courage tonight Father, you are king over the storms. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Jesus wept. It is not inhuman to cry. It is not lack of spirituality to cry. Hmm. Be still and know you are God. I'm not singing, I'm ministering to you. Be still and know you are God. Listen to me. When Satan wants to destroy you, he will isolate you and magnify everything around you. 
so that you no longer see the faithfulness of God all you see are mountains around all you see is the situation or that that seems to negate what God has said hear me I'm speaking to you by the Spirit be strong be strong there is something called the life of an overcomer you can stand and look at everything young man will you be able to rise one day and take care of mama i may not be able to show you any result right now i don't have much to say let my future do the speaking i will be still and know him i will be still hear me I want you to find strength in the love of God a Christian is not just one who goes to church a believer is one who is so jealously loved by the God of heaven look beyond your challenges please hear me believers I'm ministering to you by the Spirit no matter what the pain is look beyond it and look at Jesus don't just look at him as the powerful God you need to look at him as father lord i know that you love me your jealousy has been so invested in my life this i believe there are people going through all kinds of storms right now listen to me though i walk through the valley glow, i'll fear no evil by the water still my soul my heart will trust in you my heart will trust in you listen to what i'm saying this is not a special number my heart will trust in you Lord my heart will trust in you apostle you're only speaking now because you have food to eat at home as I'm sitting right now I have three children four children I do not even know how they are going to eat after service can I minister to you find strength it always does not look like it this is what makes you an overcomer there is no gift of overcoming no overcoming is not a gift he that overcomes he says that you will be given a white stone you will be given a name on that stone you will be given a a mystery manner that provides strength notice what he does the first thing he does to the overcomer is he strengthens you by giving you manna that gives you strength there is always a word from God that makes you an overcomer the revelation the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 we read it that all things not some things please listen to me it is not unusual for you to cry you will find many instances in your life where you have to cry cry with your children cry with your company you know after the pandemic last year believe me without exaggeration there were many people who retired from ministry and said I'm tired with this serving God I cannot serve God like this and have my children beg for bread I hang my boots Lord just know that I'm born again but as far as serving you is concerned discouragement how about those who lost their jobs some of you here looking at me how about those who have gone through all kinds of tragedy you started this year with joy not knowing that you have a reason to cry and now from bereavements to disappointments to pain when you know that he loves you you can find strength because perfect love has a unique ability to cast out fear if you know that he loves you you can find strength listen to me brothers and sisters do not let the devil use your challenges to interpret the love of god 
no no satan is a master of the flesh realm he can use everything happening to you and make you think is this how love acts i thought the bible says love gives where is the giving financially where is the giving maritally where is the giving in terms of fruitfulness where is the giving in terms of politics find strength dear ones there is the revelation of the love of god that he who began a good work in me he who began a good work in me oh that's a prophetic word to someone he'll be faithful to complete it ah he'll be faithful to complete it he who started the work he'll be faithful to complete it hear me the same energy it takes to continue is the same energy it takes to go back you must make up your mind whether you go back or go forward is the same energy you will dissipate make up your mind that i will take that leap of faith even if it means to walk on water that if i perish let it be that i perish at his word number two let's hurry up we need to pray ah, my spirit is fired up i know that god is ministering very deeply to people in this place allow him heal those wounds and bring you a life of victory number two what is the second key that grants us the grace to live as overcomers in spite of challenges are you ready the second is the power of the word particularly the administration of comfort that comes with scripture the power of the word engage the power engage the word the bible brings us comfort romans chapter 15 and verse 4 scripture can bring comfort to the believer for whatsoever things were written aforetime let's look at a few things that were written aforetime Abraham waited 25 years. He still had a child written aforetime. Job went through all kinds of things. You would look at Job and think his end had come. But at the end of his life, he had twice everything that he lost written aforetime. What else was written aforetime? A young shepherd that looked like he had a destiny without color and without dignity. Serving sincerely but remaining a mediocre. Now exalted to become king written aforetime the arrogance of kings outside of god and they were brought down to their knees written aforetime the bible says whatsoever things were written aforetime they says they were written to make us students why so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope hmm. so every time i open my bible and i read through these stories I read that once upon a time the nation of Israel stood before the Red Sea in front of them the Egyptians coming with fierce anger behind them and God still came as a deliverer written aforetime to make me a student that God is able to save to the uttermost are we together that once upon a time humans not a parable they were so hungry on earth manna came not grains that they had to prepare angels bread came written aforetime once upon a time the land of samaria was ravaged with hunger in 24 hours god turned their lives around written aforetime to make me a student one time paul and silas were jailed bound hand and feet the bible says at midnight they prayed they sang aloud and everybody heard them suddenly the mighty deliverer came 
there is nothing that is new under the sun there are people who started from ground and god lifted them up there are people in ministry there are people in business there are people in career listen to me gentlemen and ladies believers people of god koinonia the body of christ god is speaking to us whenever you go through situations that look challenging that is not the time to run away from scripture that is the time to stay true to the word of god psalms 119 verse 28 psalms 119 and verse 28 shilano skati branda kazuzi atakata it says my soul melted for heaviness strengthen thou me according unto thy word my soul is melting oh god overwhelmed by the challenges and the vicissitudes of life not knowing where to go left or right not knowing how to manage my life in light of all of these things when you look at the things happening across our nation africa these things look discouraging it looks like you should just run away and people are committing suicide people are swallowing all kinds of things to just die in their sleep it says my soul melted for heaviness strengthen thou me according unto thy word the word of god is a comforter and the word of god is a strengthener because you see the dynamics is this the power of god only follows what he says if god has not said it it is illegal for his power to come to the scene so the word of god is a compendium of what he has said when you find what he has said you can be sure his power is following what he has said are we together genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 and 2 the bible says and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken if he says it if he speaks it he will do it for sarah conceived that is a testimony and bear abraham a son in his old age it says at the set time which god had spoken so you need to draw strength from scripture scriptures like yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death the bible says i fear no evil why for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies that you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of these are scriptures that must comfort you at these times if it's a bereavement you must comfort yourself that the bible says one day there will be the sound of the archangel and that those who are dead in christ will arise first and we who are alive and remain remain where in him we will be caught to meet to to, to meet them in the air and then happily after rejoicing with jesus it says i know my redeemer leave it let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich let the depressed say i am encouraged and strengthened by the power of god most believers are not students of scripture and so when these seasons come there is no legitimate way to draw strength in fact for most people they do not know how to draw strength from scripture at best they draw strength from respectfully speaking maybe movies or visitations from people but most believers do not know how to sit down with the word and draw strength from it you can draw strength from the word ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2 the bible says he said unto me son of man stand up upon your feet and i will speak unto thee and the bible says it did not have that strength but from that word the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that i heard him that spake unto me you must learn to draw strength from scripture number three is someone learning what do you do to remain an overcomer during the times of adversity during the times where things look unpleasant number three engage in strategic prayers strategic prayers 
Number three, engage in strategic prayers. Psalm 34 from verse 4, please, to 7. Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from how many? All my fears. I sought the Lord. The deliverance did not just come. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. And uh -huh, verse 5. They looked unto him, the Bible says, and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. 6. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of how many? All his troubles, not some. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. You can engage in prayers. Can I tell you? One of the assignments of the spirit of heaviness, what we know in the medical world as depression, is to bring you to a point of silence. Because if you can open your mouth and agree with God, his power can come to bear. Depressed people are silent people. When you see people get to a point where they just sit down, how are you, sir? And then after five minutes, they just say, Nigeria. What else are life? What else are if I don't wake up tomorrow, just know that this one is for you, this one is for your brother. I rebuke the spirit of heaviness over anyone here in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible declares to give them beauty for ashes. Is that true? The oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness a garment of praise for that 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 spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks or trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified strategic prayers psalm 61 from verse 1 to 4 please write this because for many of you god is already revealing to you the blueprint you prayed already and said lord as i'm coming to church give me a road map on how to make sense and then to manifest as an overcomer this is answer to your prayer hear my cry oh god and attend to my prayer uh-huh from the ends of the earth will i cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed it says lead me to the rock that is higher than i verse 3 it says for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy verse 4 i will abide in thy tabernacle forever i will trust in the covert of thy wings believers prayer is not just for give me give me give me there are times that prayer is what supplies the strength and the stamina to push through when jesus was in gethsemane you would think he would just be singing and walking around the bible says he prayed he was about to to embark on something that had an eternal value to everybody on earth he needed to pray the bible says he prayed three times repeating the same words some of you may need to go back from church today return back home and pray use this week to pray why because there are all kinds of giants there are obstacles there are all kinds of demonic things that are coming to fight the devil over to fight god over your life don't give them room you must pray number four Mm. are you ready for number four maintain a lifestyle and an atmosphere of joy maintain a lifestyle and an atmosphere of joy in this kingdom joy is very powerful nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 very quickly nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 
the last sentence says for the joy of the lord is your strength everybody say my strength is the joy of the lord yes sir Bazanji Soroba Bazanji Kunyaba God is able to use your joy as a fetcher to bring strength to your life. Can I tell you? There is nothing I know that frustrates the devil like watching a believer laugh and rejoice when he's brought his best at you. You mean in spite of the fact that your son died, in spite of the fact that you lost your... Now you understand Job chapter 1. The Bible says the moment... You see why Job was a powerful man? He was filled with mysteries. He knew what to do. He said, hey, I can lose everything, but the one thing that will get them back is my joy. Can I tell you this? No matter what you lose, if the devil does not succeed in taking away your joy, believe me, everything you lost only went on errand. It is coming back. That's why we sang that song. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Let's hurry up. Philippians 4 and verse 4. Mm. Rejoice in the Lord. He never said rejoice in your situation. There are times that it does not make sense to rejoice in your situation. So you rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. Someone prophesy to yourself, say, myself, rejoice. myself, rejoice. Can I tell you, you must obtain grace from God. Listen, listen. You must obtain grace from God to win yourself from this lifestyle of gloominess and anger. What is wrong? Good morning. What is good about the morning? You see, when you do those kinds of things, you are, you are already programming yourself for defeat. There are people you see who are very happy and jovial and you think they are rejoicing because everything is already at work. No, they are rejoicing to make everything line up. Not because everything is already lined up. No. Next time you find out that things happen in your life that challenge your faith, the first thing you should do is, Father, I may not know what is happening, but like Job, even if I have to sit on the ground, I will still worship. The Bible did not say Job sat down. Please prepare to give us that scripture, Job chapter 1. After Job heard all of those things, the Bible says Job, he rent his garment. Listen to me. And he sat on the ground and worshipped. On hearing all of these kinds of things. Joy. Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 19, a classic on the administration of joy. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Verse 18, yet. Ah! yet i will rejoice after the medical report yet i will rejoice after the situation that is happening within your territory i rejoice and i will joy in the god of my salvation now listen it, it, it matters who you are rejoicing in he calls him the God who can save me. Yahoshua, where you get the word Joshua, the one who saves. I am rejoicing because he is able to save even to the uttermost. He is able to save even to the uttermost. He is able to save even 
to the uttermost can i tell you this no matter what you lose in life make up your mind to not lose joy let me tell you what joy is not joy is not just laughing like a clown no there are times you don't have that strength joy is an inner state of rest and merriment a a, a confidence that affects your emotions derived from the fact that god is still alive and is still in charge There are times that it may not make sense. You may not see wind and you may not see rain, but you must maintain your joy. Here's what the Bible says. It says, he that weepeth, bearing precious seeds, he said he shall doubtless return rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, that they that sow in tears, they will reap in joy, not with joy. Joy is a realm. You will carry the food in the kitchen. That means if you cannot enter the kitchen, there is no food for you. It is not with joy. If it says with joy, then joy is a tool. In joy means it is a realm you enter to guarantee your harvest. It was Papa Copeland, I was told, that asked God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, and said, even though you, we are the ones who taught you on faith, you seem to have gotten tremendous results. And look at the crowds and all of that and bishop oedipo replied according to the story and he said i dance with joy i dance every one of these people there are times when it does not make sense you will need to go to the shop alone and begin to give god glory in an empty shop that has nothing there there are times you need to walk around that house and just begin to give God praise that does not make sense to thank him and say Lord I know you are faithful are we blessed never allow anything take your joy it's a commitment that I made with my life can I tell you joy has a held value in your life joy has a finance value in your life joy has a um, all wise it profits you when you know how to be joyful so there are many of us here by this by this word you need to repent of all this gloominess and you refuse yourself from sleeping and you wake up in the night asking all kinds of questions no give him joy and give him praise you go to the office tomorrow and they look at you and say are you aware that the discussion throughout last week was on you well it may not be the best but i give god praise you kick your car on monday morning and it looks like it's not starting you don't complicate the issues by almost destroying what is left in the car you just give god praise you're driving and someone almost looks like he wants to just hit you and you can squeeze your hand through the window because you want to insult the person no obtain the maturity to bring back your hand hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you